Hi everybody! So SpaceX has submitted updated plans for the new Starship production site at Roberts Road in Cape Canaveral and this thing is going to be massive. The previous plans were already quite big but still overall 136,000 square feet smaller than the updated ones which now feature a total of 648,000 square feet. Some of the biggest changes have been made to the east part of the main building which in the previous plans was intended to be around 192,000 square feet whereas now it's expected to be 288,000 square feet in size almost 100,000 square feet bigger. To put things into perspective, here's a Google Maps image of the production site at Starbiz, Texas, with only the footprint of the future main building in Florida laid on top, courtesy of Harry Stranger on Twitter. The second biggest change has been made to the future high base, which in the previous plans were expected to be between 20 and 21,000 square feet in size, which is almost the same size as the current White Bay or Mega Bay at Starbiz, Texas. Whereas in the newly submitted plans, the size of the high bay has been updated to slightly over 32,000 square feet, which is over 50% bigger than the current white bay at Starbase, Texas. So this means that SpaceX is going to be pumping out starships at a crazy rate, which makes total sense given their plans to colonize Mars in the future, but still I'm struggling to wrap my head around it. <laughs> oh, and in case these new super high bays need a custom name, such as the White Bay being coined as Mega Bay, I hereby vote for Bayzilla 1 and 2. <laughs> Speaking of Starship, let's do a quick roundup of some of the main events going on at Starbase right now. Ship 24 seems to have completed the first round of testing after undergoing several cryogenic tests. Plus, having survived the thrust of an unfriendly looking mechanical ram. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> and now it should be heading back to the production site as I am making this video to be fitted and prepared for the next round of testing. Speaking of which, Booster 7 has been receiving a lot of love and affection these past days. All four grid fins have been put into place and the installation of the Raptor 2 engines is coming along nicely as well. So hopefully in the coming days we will see B7 coming out of the Mega Bay and rolling down to the launch site for a second round of testing which will include several rounds of static fires. And remember, we haven't had a booster static fire since back when Booster 3 was still in one piece. So without the shadow of a doubt, this is going to be a great summer for Rocket fans leading up to the first orbital flight of a starship. All right, and with that, I finished this video. It was a short one, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I wish I could make longer videos and more frequently, but uh, I also have to work full time, so I have to make do. Anyway, thanks for being there and I will see you next time. Take care, have a nice day, bye bye.